Hey everyone. So I've been looking into generating depth maps for 6 use just from stereo images. Uh, previously I've been using footage and stills from Google Jump, which gives you depth maps, and Canada Obsidian, which also gives you depth maps. So now I'm looking into actually generating depth maps. So I've written a Python script that uses OpenCV to generate stuff like this, which is a image on top and then the depth map on the bottom. And I really want to give credit here to Tim Samartzidis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, a lot of my code is based on stuff he did here. So definitely go there and check it out if you're interested in like where this stuff came from. Um, and big thanks to him for putting it online. That was very helpful. So you do need to have Python installed already. A lot of operating systems come with Python installed. Uh, if not, you can go to python.org and install it yourself. I'm not going to be going over how to install Python. But I will be going into how to install OpenCV because there's some specific stuff you need to do there. So let's go ahead and get everything installed. Uh, the first thing you'll need to make this a lot easier is pip. If you don't have pip already, just go and Google getpip.py. You'll come up with this page here. So just, and just download that script. Find the script in Explorer, right-click on it, open it in Python, and run it. And basically that will install pip. If you don't have it already, you can see I already do have it installed, so that's done. So the two things you need to have installed are OpenCV and NumPy. You can see if you open up a Python shell and type import cv2, I don't have it installed, and import numpy, and I don't have it installed. So what you need to do is open a command prompt, right-click on it, and open it as administrator. So you want to find the installation of pip, which is probably going to be in the root directory slash python27 slash scripts. So you just change directories till you get there, and you can see I can run pip. So now you just type pip install numpy, and then that goes and installs numpy. All right, and that's done, easy enough. And now just type pip install opencv-contrib-python. The contrib part is very important. So yeah, that's it, pretty easy. Everything is installed now, so we can run the depth map script and it should work fine. But to just double check, if you go back to the Python shell and type import cv2, you can see there's no errors this time and import numpy, and again, no errors, so we're all good to go. So then you just need to find the script. Here it is. Um, I'll open it right now just so you can see the code a little bit. But uh, this is actually not how you run the script, so we'll close that. So basically what you do is you take your stereo top bottom picture and you just drag it on to the script. And then there you go. You can see you have a left and right view there, so you can tell that it split the image properly. And um, you have all these settings here, resolution, this is probably one of the most important ones. The lower resolutions will obviously process faster, so uh, so you kind of want to keep it low while you're adjusting settings a little bit, so that it's uh, so it refreshes faster. So yeah, there's just a, you know there's a bunch of settings here. You just kind of play with them until you find uh, what you think works the best. I'm not exactly sure what all of them do necessarily, but these are the ones that seem to be the important ones. There's also brightness and contrast settings, so you can adjust the levels until you get the depth map that you like. Then to save, you just drag the save depth over and that'll save the depth map. Or you can drag the save six off over and that will save the six off image into the same directory that you had before. You can see there's jump still. And now we've got an underscore depth map and an underscore six off file. And the depth map is just the depth map by itself. And the six off is the color on top, depth on bottom format that is used in Pseudoscience six off viewer. So then you just need to drag the six stuff file into the folder that is read by pseudoscience six stuff viewer on Windows Mixed Reality. That can be anywhere, but on Vive or Rift or the desktop versions, that needs to be in the six stuff folder in your documents folder. So then just run pseudoscience six stuff viewer, and that'll be it. So we we'll just let that load up. Press one to open a file, and then there it is. And then there's our picture in 6DOF. We can move all around using WSD and Shift WS to move up and down. And uh, yeah, there it is. And of course, we can also look at it as a point cloud.
Okay, so that's it. All the pertinent links are down below, and you can find the code. So if anyone wishes to develop this further, please go right ahead. Uh, if you do make any sixth off material and you want to share it, or you have any questions about how this stuff works, head over to reddit.com slash r slash sixth off. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.